If you're tired of sharing file by file so that you can collaborate with others or your team, this latest update for projects in Adobe Express is for you. You're going to be able to create a project folder that will essentially hold everything you need in one place, meaning that you'll be able to migrate your projects, your files, all of these design elements in one place and share one link so that you can start collaborating. So let's take a look at how you can use projects in Adobe Express. So for this exciting change, we are going to go to your stuff and then you're going to go to projects. You're going to click on projects. Then you're going to go on create new project. You're going to give it a name. So if you're running a campaign or if you're going to have a team project and next you want to invite your team or who you're collaborating with. Once that's done, click on create and you can create a file, a folder, a brand or a library. So there's a lot of options here for now. I'm going to create a file under your stuff, you will find all the files that you've created in the past. So let's say I want to just import this one. I'm going to click on this and I want to make sure I add it as pages. So this is how I'm starting to import my content into projects without having to recreate the wheel or redesign anything. Now, if I go back to my projects page and click on this new team folder that I created, now I can see that this file is over here. As you start to create more content, what I recommend for organization is to start to create folders. So I have a folder called LinkedIn Learning Courses and I'm going to click on create. And as I start to create files into a project system inside Adobe Express, I can then start bringing those in into these particular folders. So that way Bailey from my team can find them in an organized manner. I have a lot of folders on my personal account. So this can get overwhelming if you're trying to transfer this into projects. However, what I would recommend is have two tabs open so that as you start to build these folders, you can start to just tackle them a folder at a time. So look under your file. So this is where I have all of my folders. And let's say I want to start bringing in some of my YouTube content. I can click on this folder and then go over here to my projects. Make sure I create a new folder. So I'm just going to label it MCD YouTube. So that way I know it's the same exact thing and click on create. And then I can start doing the same process as I did before to create the new files inside here. So I'm going to start with create a file, just do any blank page. That's totally fine. Then go back to your stuff and search for those files. Now, if you have probably thousands of templates like I do or designs here on Adobe Express, what I recommend is with that second tab open, you can search for that title that you're looking for. So you can either click on the file that you're trying to look for or the design that you're trying to recreate and then go over here on to your projects tab, search the file name. So you're going to paste that name. Once you find it, you'll have it here. So you want to make sure that you add it as pages, not as an image. Once it's done, it's going to bring it in here. And so now it's going to start showing up under your project. So let's take a peek. Just go back to your stuff projects. I'm going to go to my team folder, this YouTube folder, and now we can see that same design here. So yes, it might take a little bit of time, especially if you have a ton of files. However, for project management purposes, I really recommend you tackle them a folder at a time, especially if you have a team and you have certain content that you need quick access to do those folders first and slowly build it out. This is going to be well worth it to just make sure that everybody is on the same page and staying organized and on brand. But I also discovered another way where you can add these files into your new project folders. So what you want to do is just have one of your folders and select one of your images or files that you want to transfer over. Click on the three dots and then go to move. What you're going to do is go back to your stuff so that now you see projects. And here's what's happening is that sometimes it will allow you to move the projects over and sometimes it won't. Now, what I discovered was that if you haven't created this in the new Adobe Express, you will see this message. But what happens is when you click on this again, it's going to convert the file. Once the file has been converted, then you should be able to move the file over. And now I can click on the three dots, click on move, go back to my your stuff. Now I see that I can 
actually move it over to my projects, select this over here, and then select the project folder and whichever folder that you were gonna designate this for, you can select on that and then click on move. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna move your files over to the new folders. So did you find this video helpful? If so, make sure you subscribe so that you can check out the next time I post a video and stay connected. And of course, if you found this really valuable, share it with your friends, families, or other business owners who need to hear this. Until next time, hasta la próxima.